kitchen. No. Oh. So, can you guess what this video is going to be about? So, I wanted to share my planning for Walt Disney World video for you, with you. So, if you're not into Disney World, this probably is in your video to watch. So, come back tomorrow. Might be a different video. It will be a different video. So, anyhow, we will be traveling to Disney World for, I think, a total of 11 days. And uh, we do this trip about once a year. Um, sometimes we'll split it up between a cruise and Walt Disney World. But this year we're going to Disney World for, like I said, 11 days. We will be staying at Art of Animation for two nights. Seven nights at um, Animal Kingdom at the Jumbo House in uh, Savannah View Room, which I'm super excited for. And then we're going to do one or two nights at um, All-Star Movies. The reason for this is because every year we start with seven days. And then we end up adding more days to it because we just end up adding more days to it. So anyway, and, uh, and I want to stay at as many resorts as possible because I just want to experience them all. So I have never stayed at Art of Animation. Um, so I wanted to stay there for two nights. Um, it is double bed, they are double beds. So um, I'm a little bit concerned that staying a full seven days at a Valley Resort that only has double beds because my kids are 14 and 16 and my son is uh, taller and bigger than me so and I'm 5'11 as it is so um, it's yeah so for that reason we always stay longer at a moderate or a deluxe just because the, the bed, bed situation but I did want to try so we're staying in a mermaid section uh, which my son loves oh well it's for me it's not for him so and then um, it we, and when we were booking flights, it was so much cheaper to stay extra nights than to actually, it was cheaper to stay an extra night. So I, it is actually 10 days then that we're saying, yeah. So it is 10 nights. So it's cheaper to stay, stay an extra night than it was to fly for four of us. So that's why. So anyway, so I wanted to kind of share how I plan for my, uh, um, my videos today was uh, for my videos for my trip so today was a 60 day mark so I booked all my fast passes this morning which I was super excited for and um, this is my Disney planning book uh, it's the same book for every year I just keep all the information in here and I made it myself pretty crafty and then over here oops. Actually, I think I'm going to turn the camera around so you can actually see what's inside. Okay. So here is the book. And it's just a normal um, binder, nothing special. And um, at the front here, so let me just move this out of the way. I have just a couple extra maps. They're old maps, but just uh, for reference if I need it. And then I also keep... Uh, so I will take these out and put new ones once we get there. But in here I keep um, mousekeeping envelopes. So over here I usually have my book uh, that you get when you book. We I live in Canada so we don't get a package with magic bins and all that stuff. We just get a book it's welcoming uh, us on our new trip. So um, then over here I have... Um, printed out our the date um times out Ooh, no. speak much um hours for all the parks while we are there i know that you can find all of this on your app but for quick reference when i'm planning and stuff like it's just easy for me to have it all printed out so that's why i do it this way so that's right where first when you um open up the book so then the next section is general information. So over here, I will I have this sheet that I will fill out. I didn't want to fill out because it does have our personal information. So, um, but I will just write down all of our flight details, uh, important dates, then uh, the resorts, and I have two sheets for that. And then here 
I printed out all of uh, my fast pass selections. Again, it's all on the app, but I just like to have it for quick reference. And then over here, this is something that stays in it, is the fast pass selection. So I can, even though I know them all by heart, pretty much, uh, but I can have a quick reference too. And then I also have a packing list in here that I keep. So, um, yeah, so everything is in here for packing for my reference. Then over here, what I like to do is I print out hotel information. So, like, for now, I just have the map. Maps for each resort we're staying at. And this just helps me to familiarize myself before we actually get there with all the resorts if I haven't stayed there yet. So, and then I'll just write any information other information that I will need to write there, write down for that hotel. Um, it's good to, to have the address and all that, especially if you're ordering Garden Grocer. Well, actually, with Garden Grocer, you don't have to enter the address. It was, if you use somebody, somebody else, you have to enter the address. So it's kind of neat, uh, important to have the address. So, and then we move on to the park so magic kingdom has a section so i just have a map here for quick reference and then i also have a map that i uh, printed out from kenny the pirate and to show me where all the character meet and greets and times for those meet and greets are and then i have these sheets that i write out my plan um so um, I, I got this online but i honestly don't know where i got it from and i've just been using them for several years and i just photocopy them as to have in my binder so i write down so monday august 27th we will be in magic kingdom and this is what the day is going to look like these are my fast passes so these today's top three they're not necessarily top three but these are the ones that we would like to do outside of the fast passes then what our dining plans are, uh, we are staying at Animal Kingdom in concierge level. So some of our food is included. So we will be eating all of our breakfasts at the concierge level. So I'm trying not to eat breakfast anywhere else. <laughs> so it is just for the seven nights that we are at the Animal Kingdom. And then notes like this will be a good day to watch the parade. Um, Aim for lunch after Seven Dwarves because Peckle Bells is not a sit-down restaurant, so I can just come and, and go. And then I kind of made a daily plan. I use touring plans for, for to optimize. So once I am 100% and I know what my plan is going to be like, I will print it from touring plans and I will include it in here. But while I'm planning it, that usually only happens like maybe few days before our trip when I print everything up when I finalize the plans until then I just scribble over here but these stay I don't usually change these up too much so then I have the same sheet for every every time we go to Magic Kingdom whether it's p.m. a.m. so I wrote down p.m. so that means we're only going to be there in the afternoon we will not be, the fast passes are going to be used for somewhere else. So, um, wherever we're there that morning. So then I will be making fast passes as they become available for Magic Kingdom once we're there. Um, so another thing that I wanted to show you, this is what my starting plan is. This is like before 180 day meal meals you book, before anything. I just sit down and figure out where I think I'd want to be for each day. This has, um, I use touring plans as a reference because most of the time the, the hours aren't published that far, far ahead for uh, um, Walt Disney World on their website, but touring plans has estimated times and they're pretty accurate. So um, I like using them and then I just kind of make up a rough plan. Most of the time, almost all of it changes, but just for the beginning. So I look at touring plans and look at their um, crowd levels and, like I said, their hours and what their suggestions are. So, um, and then I make a rough plan. And then from there, I make my dining reservation. And then from there, I make a plan as to which day I'm going to each park and what fast passes I would like to, to make. So in here, I also leave myself a couple blank pages just so um if in case if i have to write anything down so this is pretty much 
the same idea for all the parks. Uh, we are also going to be attending Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So in the section where it says dining, I will most likely put that information. Also information for Disney Springs because Disney Springs is changing still. So I like to familiarize myself with it before we actually go. Like I'm pretty familiar with it, but sometimes, well, let's just face it. I like looking at the maps. And then, um, yeah, so, and then I'm also hoping to gather some information for food and wine because I am counting on eating some of our meals with food and wine food. So more like eating around the world. So, um... So I'd like to put that information in here once it becomes available. Also, all of the information for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween once it becomes available. So, and I think that's it. That's how I plan for my Disney vacation. And would love to hear how you plan for yours. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're brand new to my channel, would love for you to subscribe. And until next time, have a wonderful and magical day. <music>